Hello everybody, welcome to the Group K match round one of the World Championship. We've got Selathino with Wood Elves up against Rock with Orcs. Very exciting matchup. The Orcs are on uh, sorry, the Orcs are on defense. I don't know who won the toss, unfortunately, because we've jumped straight into this. Um, but it's one of those where both sides may have chosen offense, right? The uh, Wood Elves might want to Dakar or might just want the uh, not want the Orcs to get the momentum, and the Orcs might want to defend and see where they're at and stuff. Orcs won the toss, thank you very much. <laughs> Orcs won the toss, so yeah, so defending. Oh my goodness, they get blitz. Well, there you go, the Orcs chose to kick because they wanted to uh, get a blitz. So there you go, congratulations to them. Worked out perfectly. They've got a leader thrower who's not on the field on defense. And they've got three guard biggins, a mighty blow. And a tackle. Blitzer. And they've got the troll. Still 12 players, only two rerolls. Yeah, that's the that's the key thing. So they've given up a reroll to to upgrade alignment to a troll. And then they've paid for that by they essentially paid for it by giving it to a troll. To a to the thrower. And oh my god, they start with an instant cars. Incredible. And the Apo comes in to save. The Lyman, I'll put on the rings for you for a second. You can see that the Wood Elves have a couple of catches and a thrower. Leader thrower, a strip ball dancer, and a frenzy dancer, a wrestle lineman, a couple of wrestle linemen. This is a sprint catcher. Now, Dimmy G doesn't know this, but uh, Wood Elf catchers do not start with sprint normally, so. It's not what I would have done. Let, let me just say I don't really like the sprint. Um, when they used to, they used to have sprint. They used to start with sprint with elf catchers, and giving one size that was a really good way to lean into the one turn. Now that they've lost sprint, their one turn is a lot worse. And if you lean at the one turn, you can do it by taking sidestep on a on a war dancer. And there's a there was somebody else there with Skaven who who took sprint instead of sidestep. I think sidestep is much better. You get use of it, you know, in the normal course of a game as well, as well as it just being great for the one turn. So I do value sidestep more than sprint, but you know, some people take it. Fair enough, isn't it? And is this a grab? A grab tree? Flip me. So um, yeah, interesting, interesting build here the woodies i'm not i'm not a big fan of the, the thrower either i understand using it to get the third reroll so yep yeah, there's your there's your teams i give you a little bit of background here serafino italian qualifying through the wild cup and Rock is Spanish and he qualified from the season four official ladder. There you go. <laughs> well done, Dimmy. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, it did need dodges, yeah, which was very difficult. Basically impossible. Three makes a punch. Does he grab him anywhere exciting? No. I'm really not a fan. So he's actually really lent into the one turn here, hasn't he, Serafino, with the uh, with the grab and the sides. Uh, the, I keep thinking it's sidestep. The grab and the sprint really lean into the one turn. Um, I'm not sure that's particularly worth it, but there you go. Oh, there you go. Keat played Serafino at Euroball with this exact build. He's very good. And 200 plus games of Woody's on tabletop. And a lovely fan. Well, that's good. I mean, I like the colour that he's chosen. But, you know, plus points for that. 
Um, this looks a very pretty team, doesn't it? Very lovely white team there, yes. Very clean. Lovely clean uniforms. No, <laughs> no grass stains on his wood elves. Oh, there's a KO though. So he's down two players after like one turn. That's a bit rough, isn't it? They look like Power Rangers. They do a little bit. I, I like that though. I like how blindingly white they are. <laughs> I find it suitably amusing. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? They're really white. Oh, troll goes stupid. And he brought in the guard to make it a 2D. But no block for him. <laughs> well, uh, Tree, uh, KFOG made a good point that even if you get banged out as Wood Elves, people will be too scared to go for the win against you because, you know, like, provided you've got your offense done right, you know, whatever, even if you've got hardly any players left, they can't really try to beat you because you'll just beat them. Because even with, like, three Elves, you can still score, right? So, um... In a way, they mitigate the damage that they can take by being too powerful to even attempt to beat them. <laughs> and, you know, if you're really lucky, Tree, you could be playing Orcs who just let you surf two players, right? That's, uh... <laughs> uh nine players. One was Apod, one was KO. There's six players there. Seven, eight, nine. But yeah, maybe should have dackered. Imagine what four else can do. There you go. Yeah, I mean, we've all been beaten by... Oh, wow, this is frenzy. Oh, you can push into the tree, though, can't you? He doesn't have to, though. He could push into the uh, blitzer. Still won't have to dodge away because the troll is stupid. Okay, doesn't do that. Does a cheeky little dodge. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Split an entire team with a war dancer. That was one of the greatest players of all time in Blood Bowl, to be honest. Very good, Pablo, as I see what you did there. Certainly no Super League quality coach would ever do that. <laughs> Very good, Timmy. <laughs> Honestly, all memes aside from the quality of uh, American Blood Bowl, Sol going 53 games unbeaten against anybody is crazy goes for the loner block oh not on the not on that i thought it was going to block the blitzer right to to clear the line or i guess because the orcs are so slow he just doesn't mind them coming down or kills him dead 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 it's a skillless biggin do we apo He did, he did use the apple on a, on a skillless biggum and it did fail. Failed his 37.5% chance and just makes the dodge out to there. Before the pickup makes the pickup. And all of a sudden, the Woodies are now winning this drive, right? <laughs> after, after removing an orc. <laughs> Both sides' apples have gone, but the Wood Elf apple worked. And, uh, yep. Um, pro is not a strength skill, Dimmy. So, I mean, I wouldn't say you're mad, but I'd say you're a bit of a moron. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> It doesn't have brawler, yeah, it's grab. It's got grab, not brawler, yeah. 
Yeah, it's got grab. It's full of one turn, right? I did mention this earlier, Dimmy, if you were paying attention. It's grab, so he leans into the one turn a bit with a grab and a sprint. Um... No, no, you can't. I, I thought I thought sprint was sidestep yesterday. And uh, I'm still thinking it in this game, even though I've said sprint about four times. I still look at a catcher with a yellow icon above him and think it's sidestep. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to be a struggle for me to remember that gutter runners and catchers have, side, have sprint instead of sidestep. I can't even say it now. I can't even say it. Never mind, think it. That's true, Tree, but, uh, you know, like with the, with the sprint as well. I keep saying sidestep. With the sprint as well. <laughs> the sprint is definitely leaning at the one turn, isn't it? Like, the sprint is the only... You know, the sprint is essentially only for the one turn. Uh, the chance of you using the sprint in open play is very low. And while grab can be used to keep a rooted tree relevant... It's, you know, it, you can't ignore the impact it has on the one turn. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, J5 makes you wonder, doesn't it? It feels like you could say anything and get 40% of the vote. But um, anyway, let's keep politics out of it. Um, the links diamond are in the uh, in the pinned post there. If you can access that, that's got Breaky T's and my my fixtures, my schedule, and Breaky T's document. There's only been one uh, one game so far. Oh, there's been two now, hasn't there? I've just done it. <laughs> I've just literally just casted it. <laughs> there's only two results at the moment, um, but you know you can see who's in the grips and everything in that document. Breaky T. I mean, we'd we'd all vote for Dimmy. Uh, we'd all vote for Dimmy as the England England captain for Blood Bowl, wouldn't we? We'd all vote for Dimmy as England captain. Incidentally, you can vote for Yudlagar as England captain if you want. Dimmy, I'm sure, will post the link so that you can uh, you can just copy paste from PC's Discord, can't you, Dimmy? I'm sure you'd do that. I'm sure you'd do that for me, Dimmy. I meant to post it in my Discord earlier. Um, there you go. Thanks, BB Jock. There is... You, you need to be a NAF member, and you need to be English, and you need to, to have played a NAF ton in the previous 12 months. So, provided you meet all of those requirements, you can then vote for whoever you choose. Um, it doesn't have to be Yudlagar, but, um, you know... Yudlagar is certainly who I've. It, it, does it does it um, invalidate my vote if I say who I voted for? Um, if if I might have voted for Yudlagar, who knows? <laughs> well, the thing is, Yudlagar would be the ninth player, right? So he'd. I think having a ninth player in like a Euro Bowl team format is incredible. So I would definitely want a ninth player on my England team. Okay, so it doesn't make this a three dice blitz. I would have definitely done that. Like, he's got a player right here. Who isn't doing a whole lot, honestly. So I feel like getting that 3D would have been very nice. What he might do is, he might bring this guy in to assist and then block with the big one. So it's guaranteed. No, he just tries with a troll again. He is setting the edge, yes. Like, he is, I mean, he is doing something here. He is doing something, he's just not doing a lot, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, I think casting a, casting a catcher would have been a better impact than standing here but yeah you know he is holding you do have to hold the width of the field against against Woody's right the Woody's can easily reverse over here he's got a lot of players on the left hand side so the Woody's are, will be very tempted to go over to the right uh, straight through this mighty blow guy and if this player was over here you know then he, there's less over this side so you know the, you do need a certain balance against Woody else for sure 
I mean, if I was playing Blood Bowl, yes, you, you, it would be it would be absolutely horrifying to take part in a Blood Bowl match. <laughs> the risk of death <laughs> would be extreme. So yes, I would definitely want to be on the bench or standing doing nothing if it was real, hundred percent. Oh wow, the tree gets straight back up. That could have been huge if the tree stayed down. And yeah, now that he's moved that orc lineman up there straight away, the Woodies have got a player, you know, in his half, and he is coming through this blitzer to try and push down the right hand side, probably. Does go with the wrestler, uh, the wrestler, the frenzy player, which now probably going to dodge, adding another three percent fail to his uh, to the sequence there. It's uh, not what I would do, but it's something that a lot of Wood Elf coaches have no fear of. I, however, of course, assume every dodge I'm going to make is going to be a double one. So do not add spurious one in nine, uh, one in thirty-six as if I can help it. But um, you know, it did mean that he had two chances knocked down the blitzer and knocked him down and could have cast him so you know it is what it is <laughs> trees that get up again what a what a what a thing I, I wouldn't be me i tell you the trees are just another thing that can go wrong as well aren't they honestly like i really like uh cole's build of nine dodge players no tree three re-rolls like four catches I think it's just probably the best, honestly, the best way to build them. I mean, the tree can be a great twat magnet, as it's known, um, you know, and it can take a lot of players' activations and, you know, like, I mean, just standing there, I look how many players are on the tree. It can do a really good job, but also, um, you know, in, in particularly in like Wood Elf Mirrors, it can just be a big liability. It can fail to stand up, it can root. It can be like you've only got 10 players in a lot of games. It's, uh, it's a funny one, the tree. I actually think the tree is way better for progression because it saves your players getting killed. Or do you mean cause build is way better for res? Yeah. The tree has been great this game, yeah. But it's it's high variance, isn't it? It's high var the tree is the tree's adding variance. And I don't know, I think if you're a wood elf coach, you probably fancy yourself as a good blood bowl player. And if you fancy yourself as a good blood bowl player, then more variance is not what you want. Or it shouldn't be what you want. Stand firm again. Oh. Oh I mean, it it, it has it ha it does have pros, of course. Uh, tree. I'm not saying it's terrible or anything, but I think probably. I think on balance, I prefer no tree, despite being a constant tree person, I'm thinking now uh, no tree, TBH. It's funny that I would have taken the boat down there, I don't really know why, I guess so, like, you know, it's, it's, oh well I wouldn't have based, that's number one, I wouldn't have followed. And I guess like it, it would have been in between two players, you'd have been holding the centre a bit more. Um, and now it's a two plus and it gets further away around the edge, right? It's kind of giving up the edge a bit more. You know, not not a big fan of that knockdown or follow, personally. But, you know, if you're confident that your orc isn't going to get punched, but I mean, I would just bring in the assistant punch it. This, this is a great rolling tree for sure. 
This this is a great rolling tree. Yeah, I mean this is this is the best tree ever. <laughs> As I'm talking about trees maybe not being the best thing, this is the best tree. But um, yeah. Yes, we'll agree. Oh, yeah. The first game is already on YouTube, and all of the subsequent games will also be on YouTube. Yep. All 32 games from round one will be on YouTube. All 32 games from round two will be on YouTube. All 32 games from round three will be. And then, when we get to the last 32, there'll be at least 32 games there. <laughs> and, uh, and all of those will be on as well. So, yeah, this is a very... Uh, a very intensive four week schedule for me. Yeah, lots and lots of casting. <laughs> Dimmy. So, yeah, it does the blitz there, and then that gives him the block from this catcher. Oh, we've gone for a sideline cage. I guess it is turn five. That's And he can double layer the screen here. Which negates the the big weakness of the sideline cage, right? Is getting compressed onto the side, so he's he's almost certainly going to take this this line up here, here even, out in front, probably here. Yeah, plenty of strepsils. Yeah, that's no joke. Only there. Oh. Well, I, I liked all the way out to here, honestly. He could have made that because he just went that way. I would have really liked up here. Because it doesn't make a lot of difference because I guess he's probably just going to blitz him and like get in the front anyway. But I would have rather had him further out in front. Personally. I'm not coaching. I'm not coaching. I, I'm not coaching. I think I didn't think that was like, you know, this was a very basic move, right, of where you can move your guy. I don't think anybody will be watching this stream who's in the competition to get tips. So, you know, yeah, he still blitzes that guy. Well, I mean, I'm trying to say less of it. I'm trying to say less of it, uh, J5. You know, because at the end of the day, you know, try and call what's happening rather than what could happen or what they're, you know, more generally what they're thinking about. Um, you know, like, you want to try and shut this down, right? Like, the, because he's on the sideline, you can clamp down hard here and try and make it a real struggle for them to get through. So I can say that without saying I think he should blitz him and then he should move here and he should move here. But uh, with that one, I did like that square for that guy. Um, I think things like that are all right. Casting the tree with a troll is honestly a really good play here. He's trying not to though, isn't he? He's trying to not rely on the troll because the problem is if he activates the troll and it goes stupid, then he doesn't have two dice on the tree anymore. So he's having to punch the tree with a black with a bless it, black orcs, the biggins. The biggins have to punch the tree so that uh, the tree can't go stupid and stop them hitting it, being able to hit it at all. But I mean, the tree's doing an amazing job, right? Four players on it for most of the game, making a cas. It finally gets knocked down. Though I wouldn't have hit with him, I would have hit with this guy so that he could have come in the back, right? One, two, three, four, five. He can't actually get there, whereas this one could have come right round the back. Strange, I think, to have uh, blocked with this this play instead of that play. Oh, he wants to get more in front. Okay, I, I don't hate getting more in front like this. Oh, wow, he uses the reroll as well to really jam in. The problem is, it's kind of opening up the switch, right? Now, whether Serafino will go for it or whether he'll just... Kick, like, he hasn't actually blocked him going down, so he could, he could carry on going forward or he could swing back to the middle. The tree finally fails to stand up. There's some interesting chains he can do. I know, I know exactly where I'd be going this turn, but um, yep. 
We shall see what he does. <laughs> Your untrained eye, Dimi. Dimi is, of course, very good at Blood Bowl. Fantastic player. Um, but puts himself down the line. However, he isn't top tier. He isn't a top tier player. And he uh, he mentioned wanting to become a top tier player. I wonder, I wonder what the process for becoming a top tier player is. I imagine it's a lot of games on Fumble and Blood Bowl Three is the best way, right? Because uh, you've got to, you've got to practice, and practicing on tabletop, you just can't get the volume of games that you can get on Blood Bowl Three. So that's a uh, that's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> Main snotlings, yeah. Get over your uh, your hatred of star players, Demi. Number one, doing a dodge and blitzing with the ball. I actually don't hate the ball blitz, right? Because it's only one in nine to get stuck. And you really, it's really lucky if you then re-roll into dub skulls. But like anything else that you did was gonna have to be like, you know, dodge this guy with wrestle, move this guy out of the way so you can dodge the frenzy guy. Everything else was like a little bit tricky, but I, I like just going pushing down the side. I would have pushed down the side here as well. Um, and there was an option. This this leader could have moved in here, and then this guy could have re the wrestler could have blocked the blitzer, which then would have chained this guy out for a two plus dodge out right for a lovely a lovely position for him. So I really liked. I mean, he can he can one day this at the end of the turn, but I like doing it with a leader so that you're protecting the leader at the same time. Was now the leader is exposed. Um, I mean, I guess he'll put the wrestling in front of him. But still, now he doesn't put the wrestling in front of him. He does the one d re rolls it, gets the full power, and he gets to get this two plus out anyway. Yeah, so you see, I did want a player in this square. I would have personally got the first, the wrestler there first, and then that guy, one, two, three, four, would have been there. So, you know, we would have ended up with a slightly very similar shape, but I would have just made sure of protecting the leader at that stage. But I, again, I would have quite happily put the leader in to make that a 2D. He gets like, you know, it's more risk but more payoff, right? He gets an extra player stalling than I would have had. There's no frenzy on the orcs, so no crazy, crazy players here. Just gonna smash in and hopefully for some rolls, but it's not looking easy, is it? I think he had to he had to defend the sideline more, right? The fact that he left the sideline completely open was not good enough. He had to have and I guess he was scared of, you know, the frenzy surfing them, but he had to have something there to to stop the woodies just going down for free. with elves. I mean your elves are pretty good though Dimmy, right? Your elves get pro on uh, your trees get pro on primaries. <laughs> yeah I really like the Blood Bowl tree model. Blood Bowl 2 tree model. Yeah. I love the mummy model. I, I don't like this at all right? He's put in four players on this one guy. It's still just a two plus to dodge away. He didn't put anything on these. And like they could have all fit like these could have both failed a two plus right to dodge away. They could have both failed, like only 3%, but at least make them make the dice rolls, right? But getting this guy around, they're not getting more value having these players here. They could have just been there. Also could have trapped this guy in a bit more as well. 
tree fails to stand up, but it doesn't matter at all anymore. Yeah. Is that the leader blitz? Yeah. <laughs> Hello to Joy. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. I'll try and take some breaks, but uh, this match started just after the other one, so... Yeah, a little bit, a little bit intense. Back-to-back -back games. Of course, Tree, always, always welcome. Is there a surf on here? I mean, you can surf your own player. No, there isn't a surf. Is that? Sorry, I was being stupid. It's pretty safe, yes, yes. The, uh, the completely safe cage. All you can do is base the... You can, like, base the dancer, right? You can blitz. You can blitz the catcher and push it to there, and then you're basing the ball, but obviously it's a very easy clear. Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I mean, you've still got to do it, right? you still got defend. to do it. No, doesn't know. Is he going to make a foul? It can't really, because he hasn't got a reserve anymore. Thank you very much, Hotspur. Thank you for staying fantastic for 10 months, two and a half glorious Beaver pregnancies. Thank you very much. You can force the score, but it's his turn eight next anyway, isn't it? So all you're doing is saving yourself from a, a vicious, a vicious wood elf punch, which probably isn't happening anyway, right? Because they haven't got any players. Like, you know, they're going to be swarmed. So... Hit a goblin. Yeah. I mean, I don't think the I don't think the elves will be doing anything other than scoring on their turn. There is a dead orc. Yep, a skillless biggin. Yeah, they're, they're not going to roll any dice. They're going to score. So. Forcing him in would have been. Uh, Pretty part. Right, it would have saved us all some time, but that's all. <laughs> right, so the Wood Elves perfectly perfect eight turn drive, and they've actually ended up out bashing the uh, Orcs because they've made a Kaz to a KO, but they, they only have 10 players left, the Wood Elves, whereas the Orcs still have 11. So, yep. Chummo. <laughs> I mean, the, th the thing is, if you blitz and base with a tackle player, then it's still like an easy an easy clear, right? Or an easy score or whatever, so... It's six and two threes. As to how good it is, to, you know, to base with tackle. You can have two goblins, funnily enough, right? Because um, you can't see here, but oh, this is different because he's got a, he's got the thrower as well. What I know, maybe it's not. Maybe maybe some the builds are a bit dodgy. You often end up with thirty k left, so he probably could have had two goblins instead of this lineman. I think. So two lo two goblins is a build that you uh, you see people take with orcs. I'm not hundred percent sure though. Don't quote me on that because they, this was when orcs were tier two and now they're tier one for this, aren't they? So they probably don't get the thirty k spare. 
for troll build. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. They probably probably couldn't have got that. You can't throw both in the same turn, no. No. So he's just gonna punch things. Should have started with a vomit, right? But maybe he's gonna 3D for the mighty blow. Gets the pal. Nothing. Guess we're gonna blitz with block. No reason to block, make a blockless block. And will there be a foul? We can make a massive foul, but it's not really worth fouling him with thick skull. Though he is armor 11 plus and some people, some people see all the assists they can get and think it's the only way I can hurt him. I've got to hurt him and go for it, but he didn't. Right, so the woodies are back up to 11 and so are the orcs and yep, they've outbashed the orcs. So there you go, pretty pretty good, isn't it? El Wood elves are pretty good. <laughs> they lost two players before before their second turn, and then no more after it. Are we going to see? <laughs> yeah. Yes, we are. Yet more going for the troll. Maybe not. We're going, maybe we're not going for the troll. Maybe we're not going for the. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. He could. He, honestly, he could vomit on the on the tree, couldn't he? <laughs> Vomiting on the tree seems not a terrible idea. <laughs> One twelve chance. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a bit of a rubbish idea. Hey, it makes sense to want to fight the, the tree, right? Because you do have guard and strength four. And if you knock it down, it doesn't get up. Then you get to abandon it, leave, leave it on alignment. Like, you get such a big payoff for fighting it a lot of the time. I really don't hate fighting it in this situation. Well, I don't like this formation, because if there's a blitz to either side... <laughs> okay, the blitz is right in the centre. If, if there was a blitz to either side... It could have, the ball could have been just fully caged or screened. I think you have to hold the width. You have to hold the width here with your setups. So that was uh, that was wild. How old did Jackie? What happened there? Something happened. Oh, the blitz. Didn't catch the book ball and it bounced back. Gets the instant mighty blow hit. No problem. And can st still go for uh, beating up the tree. Play it wide.
Yeah, it was only four players, wasn't it? So, and the ball was like in the worst spot. Like, if it had been either side, it would have been ridiculous. It would have been like caught with a, with a three-player screen, and it would have just been game over almost. So yeah, did not like the setup from Rock. Can Mr. Throw even reach? One, two, three, four, five. No, he can't. <laughs> Man, it's tragic, isn't it, Mr. Throw, how slow he is. Absolutely tragic. This is a little bit tricky. He's got to think about some things here as he's doing this. Um, that was one of the things he had to think about. <laughs> okay, he gets a 2D the tree. Oh yeah, they, they, like this is what Cole was saying. Like they just ca people can't try to beat you, right? That, that's the great thing about Woody's. People can't even try to win because they know they know they'll lose. I didn't think about that. Like even if the Woody's had seven players this now, even if the Woody's had seven players, the Orcs can't even try to win because they know they'll lose <laughs> if they try to win. <laughs> So yeah, Woody's a very, very good for the format, for sure. But I mean, the thing is, he doesn't need to win, does he? Like the the Orcs can just try to draw here. Like you know, your your attempt to win was in the first half on defense. You failed. Now you can't try to win. Yes, that's what I would have gone for, yeah. Yes, I would have definitely gone for pushing the tree under the ball. But now uh, it's it's gone because he tried to stand it up and failed. But yeah, I would have definitely gone for that. I would have definitely gone for the, the tree chain blitz just because it was fun. I mean, this is fine, right? Like, yes, it would have been fun to have done a 1D with a wrestler and then a 1D with a catcher and then uh, a rush blitz with the tree. It would have been fun and it would have given you good chances to win, right? It would have actually given you a pretty decent chance. Like, It's a pretty good just like I win button that you press, like if it works. But this is completely sensible, isn't it? You've got all your players in front. You've still got 11 players. Um, just stand in front, make the orcs work, and something might happen later. Well, winning is fun as well, isn't it? A bit of fun. Winning is fun too, so it makes sense to be sensible. The orcs really want to. Uh, you know, stick a lineman on the tree now, right, and leave it behind. The problem is, if you leave the tree behind in the middle, that straight away kind of pushes you to a sideline, right? And then it's easy to defend a sideline because, you know, you're only defending like here and the switch here. Whereas if you're in the middle, you've got to defend here and both both sides as well. So it's a lot easier just to defend very heavily there and a bit there. 
and defend the sideline push and you've, you almost have to sideline push because of the tree so I mean it, as I say it's not rubbish right the tree the tree does have a lot of good points <laughs> woodies do look amazing when they don't die yep <laughs> Dimmy the champ. They don't call him the champ for nothing. OCC Division 5A winner. The highest accolade in Blood Bowl. I'm not exactly sure where this ball is going. death wasn't it oh he's basing that with a blitzer well yeah cares well with me I guess it's funny isn't it that's one of those I don't understand what the hell on earth he's thinking here he's literally rushed with a blitzer with it rushed with a lineman instead of walking there with a blitzer and then based a strength six mighty blow player with a blitzer instead of a lineman complete bamboozlement there from me that's the interesting things to me, is those kind of decisions, right, cares what with me. But I guess, you know, if you haven't seen a thousand players killed before, you're like, oh, he killed someone. Um, <laughs> but it's just a lineman, isn't it? You know, a, a it's a Wood Elf lineman. Death for a Wood Elf lineman is really nothing to be commented on. Um, this one was in. This one was exciting when the big one died, but yeah, a wood elf lineman dying is just. Plus, it's the second half, right? So it's also just the same as like a KO. At this point, it's essentially just a KO, so it's really not not a big deal. Um, in terms of you know affecting the result of the match, it was not a guard big one. No, it was just a rookie big one. So. Okay, wrestle blitz on the guard biggin. Tree uh, didn't stand up, by the way, so living down to its reputation. Could have like set up some kind of frenzy punches, but it made sense not to. I don't. Don't dislike that blitz at all. <laughs> Rooted and prone. Awful. Could have one deed there, right? One D wouldn't have been terrible. Three plus instead of a two plus, kind of, but you know, fifty percent of the time you knock down the orc, which could do something. I wouldn't have hated one dice blocking there. But again, completely understandable not to. So yeah, like this is the thing, right? The orcs are like, yeah, yeah, we'll push to the side and do something, and then like, oh. They've just made a massive screen in front of us, and now we've only got like five turns. How are we going to get forward? It's it's so hard to play against Dallas. It's so difficult. Gets the knockdown. 
not forward. He's not getting penetration, right? I would have, I would have definitely gone for this lineman or this lineman and push forward, not, not push across. Got a wall of guard biggins. Yes, he's got the he's got the guard, you know, the three guard in the right place, but the problem is they just didn't push forward. This turn could be very interesting for the Woodies. It's really tempting to like go for an adventurous ball sack here. <laughs> but the problem is, you know, how much does it hurt you if it fails? How good are you just, you know, playing kind of conventionally and just screening and hoping for the best? Keep numbers up. Is it worth rolling some dice and maybe getting 2-0? I think it probably is. I know what I'd do. But let's see. Let's see what happens. Catcher doesn't like being alive very much. <laughs> oh, he doesn't get the push. Does he re-roll this? He might do. He does. Doesn't get the push. Well, you know, it gets a power, but doesn't get a push. Yeah, what he wanted to do was to push push him here and then push him again, right? And then go 2D him. I would have done it a bit differently, but... This could have worked. Now he's just going to go for the uphill with Russell, I guess. Well, maybe not. I guess he could make this a 1D, right? If he powers the big one. If he powers the big and this he could make this a one D. Yeah, there were a lot of there were a lot of different things he could do, yeah. There was a lot of different things. A lot of options for the woodies. Eating in it was time bank here. There are, but if he if he if he gets a one D pal here. Oh no, it's a two it's a two D. If he gets a pal here, then it's a one D, right? No, so it's, it's still a one D, yeah. If he gets the one D pal, he's moved him in first. So he's there. If he gets the one D pal. Then it's a 1D on the um, throw with wrestle. We're just doing these moves to get something good. Or you just go straight for the uphill with the wrestle. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, that's, that's maybe better, right? So he goes for the uphill, then he gets to make this a 2D. And then leave him completely sandwiched. 
That's a 1D. Oh, of course, because this guy's staying there now. Oh, my goodness. And Kazes himself with a skull. Of course, it looked like it was going to be a 2D, right? Because he had the, he had this assist and then this, but then because he pushed this guy, it was still only a 1D. The Orcs can kind of do some good here, can't they? They can escape a little bit here. That was the problem with going for the ball sack, right? It was a big commitment. And he's kind of out of position. These two aren't screening. These two are on the wrong side of the ball. This guy's on the wrong side of the ball. These three are all in contact, can be punched. So just everything can get punched. And the Orcs can get away upfield. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting, isn't it? I wonder how much... I wonder what the chances were. Like, I would have been looking at making something happen as well. I don't blame Serafino for trying something, but... This could be a very painful turn. Blockless Blitz. And there we go, that clears the way. Still got to punch this wrestler. So we can get like all the way up here, right? The ball. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic uh, turn of movement for the... Uh, that makes it a 3D, nice. Gets the... Uh, so it gets the troll in position. That's the cage corner. And makes it a 3D, very nice. Yeah, maybe C plus. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good point, isn't it? You can go for these things, and then chain. Ooh, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> I would have wanted this lineman to be that guy, because um, these two can obviously be around the front. I guess this guy could like go over there. As well. Yeah, maybe that's better even. Oh, he didn't follow. He didn't follow! Why didn't he follow? Misclick. Must be a misclick, right? He didn't follow this... this. Uh... Well, he hasn't made a cage. He's caging here. Okay, it wasn't a misclick. He's caging here. Well, I would have just caged up there. He could have just caged up here. He... I would have definitely caged up here. I would have followed and caged up here. Maybe he did misclick, and that's why he caged closer. The good thing is this is rooted, right? If this wasn't rooted, this would have been a disaster because he'd have just blitzed in and had a tree on the ball. So it doesn't look as horrendously dangerous as it could have done. But I really want to be two squares close to the end zone just because it's just every square is painful, right? It's the orcs. Just get for, further forward, I think, is better. But this isn't bad by any means. I could have been wrong as well, you know, it could have been a bit of PTSD wanting to get as far forward as possible. You don't always have to. Um, yes, Bryce Dawn GG, this is the, uh, the World Championship Group K. Um, yeah, reset turn now, indeed, Nayagi. Yep, just get everything back in front of the ball and uh, hope for something to happen. And seeing as that was always going to be the case, that's why I like just getting further forward, right? Yeah, actually, if you get further forward here, then he's kind of tempted to like maybe space the ball or something and then give you more hits as well. Whereas now, because you're less far forward, they can get in your way a little bit more as well. Oh, making the hit. 
I'm not sure. I guess you get to push it onto the tree, don't you? Which is pretty nice if you get double pushes. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I <laughs> KO's him. So that was definitely worth making that block. Like, could have just dodged right and have had another two players back in front. But he's got plenty of time to get those two players back. And, and putting the guy on the tree would have been fantastic. I don't think you can take this block as well. I think you have to move the, the last two guys in front. Didn't even move him. Well, now the orcs can really get forward. And it's the first thing he does. <laughs> Guard on the cage corners. Gets to blitz the catcher with tackle to get him out of the way for this guy to come up. This guy can come up. These two can move up as well. Yeah, really nice getting that. Maybe it did cost him not dodging this and making this block, even though he made the removal. Oh. I thought for sure he would have uh, blitzed with my, with tackle and then just moved him into that corner. Maybe he's going to blitz with this guy to get him relevant. The problem is you're, you're spending a guy to do that, right? I would have just gone for the 1D. I, I don't hate that, but I would have gone for the 1D, right? I would have just... Uh, and in fact, this big one I would have probably put in here. Really nice square for the big one, right? So the big one could have stood there to have these two both base without dodge. And then the orc lineman could have stood next to the troll. And then this could have just been a 1D blitz to get you a big payoff. But, you know, Rock's move is a bit safer in the terms of this, two, this is a 2D blitz. But it is leaving a lineman behind. And he's just trading like leaving a lineman behind instead of a blitzer, right? And he didn't control these two players. Really big one. But yeah, very far down the field now is Rock, so... He should get the score. Um, I guess there'll be like a, a dodge in or a leap in for an uphill from the uh, woodies, but and there will be a one turn attempt as well from the woodies. Yeah, it's so far down the field, aren't they? There's so, so much penetration that it looks uh, impossible for the elves to deal with. Yeah, he has to put him there to make that screen, even though it doesn't matter because he'll still go around this way anyway. So, definitely get this lineman here as the first move. And he can clear all of this and have a lovely cage, can't he, for another turn? Probably another two turns. This should be, he should be able to stall this out, but we'll see. And you might want to try and, you know, move back. You don't, you don't really want to, you just really want to stay where you are, more or less, right? You just want to stay where you are and just punch things. Maybe get the troll onto these two. Again, like based on the non-dodge players, right? Put pressure on the non on the non-dodge players. It's pretty strong. Uh, 
makes it 3D or a 3D if you prefer. Gets the knockdown thanks to tackle. I guess the danger is here there is the uh, there is the frenzy which you know you don't really want to give up surfs but then on the other hand you've only got you know one more turn to stall for so who cares if you play you get surfed well you probably don't want your tackle a surfed <laughs> to be honest I love the troll in here. I think the troll has to go in there. I guess it can come back. Mm. I like it in there a lot more. Yeah, and then this guy protects the tackler from getting surfed. Yep, this is looking real bad. Well, not real bad. It's one nil up. But uh, the drive's looking really bad for Seraphim. Diamond box. Whoa. I mean, he's got a leap in uphill, hasn't he? It's not. It's not terrible. Well, he can just. Yeah, he's got tackle, so yeah, just leap in. Also, <laughs> the, if he pushes him and then pushes him, he gets two D on him. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually probably an automatic uh, leap in now. I would say four plus leap, uphill, uphill. Looks pretty good. Whether you put in rerolls, maybe not. Maybe not. The one turn. Hmm, I'm not sure about the one. You need two pushes. You've got Frenzy. We haven't got Guard. You've got Grab. It just doesn't seem that good versus all the Guard and stuff, but you know, you never know how your opponent's going to set up against the one turn, right? If, if Rock sets up badly versus the one turn, it could be quite high odds with two rerolls. He's got, you've got to leap in. Because he's got tackle, right? This guy's got tackle. So you've got to leap. And then you push him. You, if you push him twice, you get to hit him. And uh, I don't know why this guy's here. Oh, because he had to make it to make it stop being a 3D uphill. He gets him. He gets him with a second hit. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, this was a, this was the only play, I think. And then you push him there, and then you push him out, and you would have got 2D on him, but instead it just comes out straight to your war dancer. Pretty good. You could even uh, hand it off to this guy, right? Wood Elves are doing Wood Elf things. Fails the pickup. Obviously have to reroll this. Fail. Catches it on the random wrestler. Boah. First things first, vomit on the vomit on the dancer. <laughs> it's not over. Uh, he rerolled. He rerolled the pickup. Yeah, yeah. He rerolled the pickup. Just rolled a double two. I mean, you can just put in the guard and punch him right and see what happens. But the problem is, you don't really want to go into the crowd. But then, if you blitz here, you really don't want to go into one of these players and your blitz being gone. So it's very tricky. 
I guess blitzing him into troll vomit is all right, isn't it? Actually, blitzing him into tr troll vomit. Also, you want to be able to take the boat down, so you really want to blitz him with block, which means this guy, which means you've got to deal with the dancer first. In fact, you probably just have to blitz with the tackler, don't you? Yeah, because he gets there. This one would have to, yeah, it's not worth moving him first. Push. Yeah, I think that probably is worth the reroll there, honestly. I mean, you have to follow. Oh, it goes the dancer who ca doesn't catch it back to the blitzer into the end zone. Flip me. Well, that's a pretty horrendous scatter for the Orcs. Not as bad as the dancer catching it, but I mean, there weren't many good scatters, right? Like, all three of these were bad because they could also go to there as well. These, like, three were good. This one wasn't great. Can block and block and maybe chain it, but then I don't know. Can't really go for a four plus dodge, four plus pick up, especially as it's turn fifteen. But you can't leave it there, can you? You've got to bring this guy around. Like double GFI or something. I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, J5. Oh, it goes for the troll block. Okay, the troll block there is pretty cool, actually, right? That that frees up both blitzers to run around and be relevant. He's got so many players, but none of them seem to really do too much. <laughs> They're all so slow, aren't they? That's that was a perfectly prominent use of his uh, lineman there. So there you go, two turns left. So he's, I, I like the I like actually quite like the troll block to get these two around, these two around. He's he's got a lot of stuff there, hasn't he? The guard on this wrestler is nice as well to stop the wrestle one ding him. So yeah, re really nice use of the guard, big enough. What happened to everything? Yeah, uh, Dancer leapt in, Frenzy, and got the uphill sack. Yeah, you can just dodge onto it, right? You can just dodge onto it. Um, I mean, I feel like there's better... He's got these two players, so I feel like there's a lot better players than that. But even if you just dodged onto it... Um, and fell over it could just go into the crowd but yeah we're gonna see we're gonna see some blocks made and stuff oh i thought i thought the wrestle would have blitzed there honestly oh le double skulls i mean you have to oh you don't have to re-roll you could save it for the one turn oh ho, ho. Do you save it for the one turn? He 
does not save it for the one turn. The problem is tackles here as well. So, and it's an uphill. Probably should have, like, if you can't blitz it with a dancery, right, this this wrestle could have been the uphill. I don't, once he stood the, like, the wrestle would have been my blitz. So, okay, he gets the three plus dodge through tackle, gets the 1D knockdown, doesn't get the four plus pick up. That is a very interesting scatter. You could say it's super interesting. Flip me. Well. Well, well, well. Mr. Throw is in range. And you can clear him in lots of ways. To get this. I mean, it, the surfing doesn't it doesn't hardly matter, right? Like it does make the one turn a little bit better getting the surf, but your primary thing is to just get them out of the way, right? Like you don't really. Now the best way to get them out of the way might be by surfing, but you don't need to think, oh, good a surf, you know. It's just what is the best way to get get them out of the way. Which honestly it could have been the surf. Because he's not out of the way yet. Troll vomit is no good unless he removes, because you really want the guard in there, right? Nice, punched him. Ah, so this guy can run around now and blitz him. <laughs> but again, a push is still not that good. Oh, he just dodges. I mean, dude, if you were going to dodge, you should have blitzed the fucking, uh, sorry, whoops. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear. Okay, so he filled that square so he could blitz with him. There was no rules about not swearing, by the way. I was just trying not to. If you were going to make that dodge, I would have just blitzed him directly, right? You could have put the guard in there and you could have just blitzed him directly so he blitzed him. Whew, you got the pickup. Well, there you go. Now he's got to do the one-turn defense. Serafino is out of rerolls and only has eight players. So, yeah, it was well played. Yeah, it was well played. I thought he'd, uh, I thought he'd done goof when he didn't just blitz with a blitzer. Like he could have just blitz with a blitzer, honestly. Like he could have moved the guarder in, and then like done the blitz the other way. Right, would have been technically better because you've been blitzing with uh, block instead of not block but uh, I didn't I didn't think of him just making the blitz with him uh, myself so there you go I was like Phew. I overreacted there I was emotional I am as emotional I overreacted I do apologize <laughs> but that's the thing that you, you get you get you get like uh, you get tunnel vision into the solution that you've spotted So yeah, yeah, well played to both actually, and maybe, maybe more, we'll see, there could still be a one turn here, there is the frenzy, the grab, and the sprint, three big factors in the one turn, so let's not get ahead of ourselves, chaos walk with me. <laughs> I mean, there's more elves than orcs, right? Because there's dark elves, wood elves, and pro elves. So there's more. There's more elves than orcs. That's for sure.
Okay, so Blue Max and Jatsik, they started playing at seven. So they've been playing for half an hour, so we won't be able to go to them live. So the problem is, you know, like Blood Bowl 2, you could, you could take over a game. You could start watching a game that had already started and, like, catch up. That was a really great feature. We don't have that in Blood Bowl 3. I don't know if it will ever come. Um, I could ask, I guess. Because <laughs> that would be really good. That would be really good right now, right? To watch the game that started at 7 and then catch up to it with a replay and then watch it live. Um, I guess what I'll have to do is wait for the other game to finish if it hasn't already yet and then watch the replay and then wait for the 7 o'clock game to finish and watch the replay of that. Okay, so he starts off with a grab. And then he makes this, and he is one square over, and he will be in range. Should he have got the ball sooner? Or... It doesn't matter, right? You can just give it to him now. This is just a 1D. He needs to put a player in there. Then he'd have to dodge him out. He needs a player there and a player there. So this, this guy could run all the way around to here. Then it just becomes a 1D, right? You can't make it a 2D in no. So do you just do it a 1D and then you've got to do a 4-3-2? Or what he could do is he could try and like push him to there and then there and then just do a 3-2. The frenzy. So I guess that's what he's thinking about now. Exactly how to get the ball to the catcher. Probably regretting using his rerolls, isn't he? Like, is it worth trying to do the... Oh! Oh, double scored. So that made it 2D. So yeah, he went for the... Get 2D. Oh, is he going to try an uphill with a dancer? I don't know. Anyway, he... He, he, he made the dodge out. He failed the one turn. Um, so there you go. Well played both. Serafino and Rock both draw in this Wood Elf versus Org matchup. 1-1. One, one. Um... So there you go, GG, no overtime because it is the group stage, and uh, thanks for watching everybody, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.